good day everyone. Forecaster Mark Spencer here from NeoWeather.com with your forecast for Wednesday, October 10th, 2012. We'll have a cool day with rain showers in store, also like breezy south wind making it feel kind of raw out there. But we'll have a pleasant end of the week with temperatures near normal. But are there storms in the forecast for the weekend? Get all the details and more starting right now. Okay, taking a look across the rest of the state now this morning, again, we have our cold front back here. We can see it on the satellite imagery where that cold front is. The showers are just ahead of it. There is some clearing out behind the cold front uh, this morning. I don't know if we're really going to see much in the way of sunshine today. We may see a few breaks. We're going to take a look at our future cast here in just a moment. I'm going to show you why I think some showers are going to develop here again this afternoon after this front passes through. Now temperatures this morning, it's a chilly one out there in the middle 40s and with this rain moving in, I tell you what, it doesn't really feel all that great out there. It's even a little cooler the winds are going to pick up too, and even though they'll be out of the south and west, it's still going to be a little on the chilly side with the winds. I think much of the rain here associated with the cold front is going to be out of here uh, just after lunchtime, and then that's when we'll start seeing some showers develop later on. Let's zoom on out. I want to show you this cold pool of air real quick that's just pouring in across the central part of the country. It's all the way down into the panhandle of Texas. Yes, where it's 34 degrees and I believe that is that's Dalhart Municipal. It's just outside of um, Amarillo, just to the north of, and west of Amarillo. So cold, cold air coming our way. I mean, look, we got middle and lower 20s, even down into Nebraska this morning. So it's very cold, all coming our way. Is it going to get this cold? Stay tuned for a seven-day forecast, and we'll have all the details in there in just a moment. Real quick, recapping across the rest of the country, the East Coast is pretty dry this morning. A few showers around uh, New York and up towards uh, Connecticut this morning. Uh, the South is nice and dry. A little chilly down there for them as well, but not too bad. And uh, the North, besides the cold, has a little bit of uh, snow this morning. Yes, that's snow up there. And the West is pretty quiet. A few showers just off the coast of California. Taking a look at our future cast. This is for today. I want to show the rain moving in. And we, we don't see much rain, of course, behind this. But I want to show that we are going to see some showers develop later this afternoon. So we have our cold front moving through here. This is at uh, 9 o'clock this morning. And we keep progressing on. So we're going to keep going through the day. Here we're about 2 o'clock. And right about 2 o'clock, you see all this... Uh, little splotches of blue across the area. Those are light rain showers that are going to develop. And we're going to see this from about 2 o'clock. Here we are at 4. So just starting that rush hour, we got uh, just south of Cleveland and into parts of uh, Summit, Portage, Geauga County, some uh, decent rain showers. And those are going to continue through uh, the evening hours today. Now here we are at 8 a.m. We see much of it moving out of the area and diminishing. We'll see a couple through the overnight I think it'll be uh, less scattered than what we're showing here. And finally, here we are at 6 a.m. Thursday morning. Maybe a, a lake effect shower along the lakeshore. Perhaps that'd be about it. By 8 a.m., though, tomorrow morning, we clear out and we're going to have a really nice day in store for Thursday. Taking a look at the almanac for today, the high yesterday was 58 and the low is 36. Our average high is 65 and the average low is 47. The record high for today is 86 and the record low is 30. No rainfall yesterday, just um, a little over 2 inches for the month and we're at 31.62 inches for the year. We're about 1.3 inches above normal. Sunrise is at 7.34 a.m. and sunset is at an early 6.53 p.m. All right, taking a look at the forecast for today. Again, we do have rain showers moving in. Rain showers will last through much of the day. Our high is 54. We'll drop to around 30 overnight tonight. It's going to be a chilly one as clouds decrease. By about midnight, I think we'll be mainly clear. Winds will be out of the south at around 12 to 18 miles per hour, so it will be breezy. Eventually, those will switch around to the northwest by later today and diminish. We'll start the day off at 8 a.m. with 44 degrees and rain showers moving into the area from the west. Rain showers across the area by 11 a.m. and 49. Scattered showers at 2 p.m. We start to see some wraparound as well, maybe a little lake effect rainfall, 53 at 2 p.m. Some scattered showers still hanging around for 5 p.m. 
and 51 degrees. After uh, 5 p.m., we will begin to clear out, though. All right, taking a look at the next seven days, we'll go mostly sunny for your Thursday, the high of 57. Much the same on Friday at 56 degrees. Saturday will be a day of change. We'll start out with sun. We'll see clouds on the increase with afternoon showers. Ohio high will be 58. Showers will continue overnight on uh, Saturday. And then a better chance on Sunday, showers and even a few thunderstorms as a pretty strong cold front boost through the area. The high will be 64 on Sunday. Monday will be mostly cloudy. Some isolated showers around. Cooler with a high of 53. But we're right back up to the middle 60s on Tuesday with mostly sunny skies. I'm forecaster Mark Spencer. Thank you for watching. Stay up to date with the latest weather at NeoWeather.com. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. NeoWeather.com, Ohio's home for weather.